Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Rainer. I came from company Telepax, and my speak is today from medical archiving to the leader in health cloud services. Telepax is located in Nuremberg in Germany. We ran two data centers, one in the north and one in the south of Germany. Our history, we have more than 20 years experience in medical image archiving and image processing. All our work is based on standards and certifications from uh, healthcare business, but also from privacy. Telepax is 100% privately owned. We have um, three main business models. One is archiving of medical images and documents. The other is high security sharing of medical data. And third is medical data analyzing, including deep learning and software as a service. Let me give you a few KPIs about our company. We have more than 600 hospitals and radiology centers in Germany as customers. End of this year, we will have 13 billion medical images and related documents in our archives. And uh, we receive uh, data from 15 million patients every year. And that means we have more than 3 million new medical images per day. A few words to the market and the regulatory framework in Germany. Um, in 2016, more than 100 million diagnostic images examinations have been conducted in Europe. You must imagine every examination can contain hundreds of single images. Hospital data is growing by up to 30% uh, in a year. Uh, a mid-sized clinic produces roughly 4 to 6 terabyte data, a university clinic up to 100 terabyte. And more and more medical departures, departments will become digital in the near future and produce additional billions of images. Storing, sharing and processing of the dramatically increasing number of medical images must be compliant, as we all know in Europe, with the GDPR the GDPR increases the pressure to European countries to react to the legal requirements. The leg regulatory framework, you see all archived data in Telepax data centers have been encrypted. The encryption key is at customer side in the archiving solution or is at patient or doctor side in the sharing solution. Since more than 20 years, we in Telepax are compliant with the German uh, personal data protection law, which was more strict than the GDPR is now. This opens new business opportunities for us. Expansion through GDPR compliant archiving projects all over Europe. And second, GDPR defined something new. It's called pseudonymization. That means in medical images, the patient demographic data is replaced by a reference number. This allows data analytics and artificial intelligence projects just with the consent of the hospital, not any longer with the patient. Our archiving solution um, shows more than, as I told, 600 hospitals in Germany. We, this includes the largest clinic groups in Germany like Helios, Rhön, and Asclepius, but also a lot of very large clinics, single clinics, are using our archive service. Our work is based, as I told, on medical standards like DICOM, HL7, and so on, and on privacy certifications like the European Privacy Seal. Telepax archiving service is GTBR compliant. We have a certified data security system since over 20 years. Um, it opens new markets, as I told before. We already started our archiving service today in France and in Poland. One really big asset of uh, our archive is that it is a vendor neutral one. Vendor neutral archiving means compatibility with all PAX providers is guaranteed. And it, it works for radiology as a 
this is our main, was our main uh, business, as well as for other ologies like pathology, ophthalmology, cardiology, and so on. We have more, we have direct access to the medical workflow uh, in the hospitals. Uh, this is working by over 600 telepacks owned servers. They are part of our eHealth platform. And last but not least, we have a very long, trustful relationship with our customers. This slide shows how archiving works together with our growth strategy. Left side, you see the imaging departments, which are producing thousands of images every day. They are sending this images with related other medical informations to our APAC appliance. This is a piece of hardware and software which gathered this information and is also responsible for data acquisition, encryption, create patient accounts, and on-site deep learning. This information will be automatically transferred in our data centers where we're offering different services like the core one archiving, but also new ones like file sharing, value added services, and central deep learning. Let's have a look to our gross of the data volume in our data centers. You can see end of this year, we will have 13 billion medical images in our archives. And during the next five years, we expect additional 20 billion images. Let's switch over to the second business model we have. This is sharing medical data with our service health data space. The idea is to have medical images anytime, anywhere, and at any platform available. Today, health data space has an actual growth rate of 75,000 patient accounts per month. We have more than 20 million images and documents which have been already shared with our health data space service. The most active medical use case is a mammography cancer board that's transmitted more than 1,000 cases with health data space. Health data space gives free access for the patients and is fee-based for the clinics and the hospitals. And it includes the integrated web shop where additional storage can be bought. It is something like you can compare like a secure or a medical Dropbox. It's 100% certified with a, a GDPR compliant. It's seamlessly integrated in the workflow and it gives the patient the right or to information self-determination and share the medical records to get second opinion. It's multi-platform running on smartphones, PCs, tablets, and so on. Our last business model is uh, image analyzing. We have the largest database with our 13 billion images to enable deep learning on medical images. Uh, depending on the use case, we have to define uh, the image data source to find the right images, then to pre-process this data to prepare training data samples with this training data sample, we train classifiers together with, together with our partners, with uh, universities, with uh, scientific partners. And we offer at the same time on our appliances, on our 600 the appliances, uh, the test in real life settings. We also offer CA labeling, FDA labeling, and the integration in the clinical workflow. And last but not least, where you edit services. I will come to the last slide. Um, you see, we already started for projects, for medical deep learning projects. This is diagnosis of brain bleeding, segmentation of vertebra, mammography screening, and prostate screening. This we do together with scientific partners based on our smart image databases. It's has different use cases. You can use it for decision support, optimized work list sorting, automatic diagno uh, second diagnosis, and 
last but not least, we have already one value-added service at customer site running. Running its pulmonary nodule detection in lung images. So far, thank you very much. <laughs>